Like so many people knew this because I guess he was going around to everybody telling everybody and their mother that he was like people were like that doesn't happen in real life It's not a thing that people do like sweet home, Alabama, baby. Like that's not real. Why are you doing that? Hey, what's up? So since my last video, our last story time was a little bit sad and kind of depressing. <laughs> um, I wanted to like sit down and do one of my regular weird ass story times because I like filming these so, and I know you guys like watching them. And I randomly remembered this story. This one is old. It is an old story. So I'm not that like sketched out about telling it, but it is weird as sh like it is really weird. I've like briefly mentioned this story while I've been on like Instagram live talking to you guys. So, you know, if you don't follow me, I'm just gonna plug it real quick. If you don't follow me on Instagram, a lot of times I just tell random stories while I'm on live. So if you wanna hang out with me, go follow me on Instagram. We can chit chat and I'll tell you a bunch of weird that just happens to me. And because this was like my first boyfriend, I say that boyfriend very loosely. <laughs> I was 14 years old. Um, I was a freshman in high school and this happened, which almost makes it like worse that this happened. Like it's bad, it is just all bad all together that this even happened to begin with, but it is just bad that this happened when I was 14 and he was 14 too, so. And she was 14. All of us were 14. We were all freshmen in high school. Gonna give you the whole backstory of how I met this person. Life in high school when I was 14 years old. Okay, so let's just get in the story. So I've mentioned this a couple times in other videos, but I went to an all girls Catholic high school. Um, and if you know anything about that, if you know somebody that went to an all girls Catholic high school, like you know, it's not all holy up in there. So <laughs> because we were all girls, we had a brother school. So the brother school was all boys. They were like down the street from us. We had like mixing events and stuff like that. You had a chance to meet people that were guys. When we were 14 and like freshmen and they were like mixing us all together doing like the freshman mixers, it was like feral. Absolutely feral. People were getting into relationships like the second time they met somebody. Not even the second. Like I remember one time we had, the, we went to the fair in our state. People were like dating by the end of the, the date. I was like, you guys met 20 minutes ago. Anyway, we had all these mixing events. So that's how I met this person. This boy went to my brother's school. I'm just gonna insert a picture in here for contact. I will tell people that I was ugly growing up and they're like, no, you, how could you be ugly? Which I, that's very sweet, like, thank you. But a girl was looking like a wet rat. Like I looked so bad. I had hair up to here, had not grown into my nose whatsoever. I was like extremely thin. I've always had really big teeth um, and I had full braces full metal mouth going on i had these horrific side bangs but that was like that was cool back then so like i'm not hate on that much but what's wild is during this time when i looked like a tiny wet rat i got probably more attention from guys than i did when i had like my glow up i always went to these mixers with the impression that nobody was going to even give a about me i i kind of was i was self-aware that i was ugly because in middle school when everybody was getting into like their first little like and they're both boys relationships that were like a bunch of bs i was not participating in that i did not get picked by anyone i wanted one i wanted a middle school little fling but like nobody wanted me because we were in all girls high school we didn't have football games but most of us would attend our brother's school's football games they had a really good like football team so the games are actually like pretty fun to go to um that was also an opportunity for you to go meet boys <laughs> and i met this boy Boy. I thought he was super cute. This is not this is not the boy that I'm gonna be talking about, but I'm just gonna give you the full story. I met this boy and I thought he was super cute and a bunch of the girls at the football game were like, oh my God, he's so cute. I'm just gonna call him, I'll call him T. All the girls at this football game were like, oh my God, T's so cute. And I was one of them, but I was kind of had this impression that I was like, whatever, like, he's not gonna pick me, but I can still look. I don't know by the grace of God why this guy thought I was attractive in any shape or form, but for some reason he liked Liked me. I was hyped. I was so hyped and it was a definite confidence booster. So this guy doesn't know this, but like, thank you. You actually like made me feel good about myself when I did not feel good about myself. We like exchanged numbers and like Snapchats and all that. Even though we were like brother and sister schools, like we were still separate schools. So there were separate homecomings and there were separate like proms and separate dances, like separate events like that. There was kind of an opportunity to go to two homecomings. Like you could go to your own and then if you were invited, you could go to your brother's schools if somebody brought you. I was under the impression that like this guy I'd been talking to was going to take me to his homecoming. And I was so excited because you know, homecoming is like one of the first like big dances that happens in the beginning of high school. And the brother school's homecoming happened first before ours. And I got invited by this guy and I was over the moon because like I said, you had to be like invited 
graduated even though they were our brother's school because one of the guys had to take you and like so not every girl at my high school got to go but like a good chunk of them were going because everybody was feral at that point that's when my parents dropped the bomb on me that for some reason we had to go to Chicago the weekend of my brother's school's homecoming and I now in hindsight it was not that big of a deal but when you're that age and you were like looking forward to something and a boy had asked me kind of out it, it kind of felt like the end of the world it did feel like the end of the world I had a meltdown I'll be honest 14 I was yelling I was like no you can't make me go to Chicago I'm not going like why do we have to go this weekend like my parents were like no you have to come because we have to go and you're too young my brother's even younger than me and I was like absolutely not I'm not going like you can't make me go I'll go stay with grandma like please I was freaking out and they were like this is not a big deal because it wasn't my homecoming they didn't really care because there were two opportunities to go homecoming the brother school and the sister school and I didn't go to the brother school to me to me to me Yes, I did have to go to both of them. Long story short, I did not get my way. And I ended up going to Chicago. So I had to tell this guy, I remember Snapchatting and being like, so like I have to go to Chicago with my parents this weekend, blah, but I can't go to homecoming with you, but like I still really like you. He did not give a I was a little heartbroken. I remember being in Chicago, seeing all the pictures of like all of the girls, the new friends I had made in high school. I was like sitting in a hotel room with my brother in Chicago, fuming. I wanted to know so badly of who the guy took that was supposed to take me, T. So I'm like stalking T's Instagram to be like, who did he take, who did he take? I heard rumors of who he was taking, <laughs> but I was like, who did this guy end up going taking? I was hoping he was gonna wait for me and not go to his homecoming like what in the delusion but he went he took somebody else and the other girl really liked him so i kind of just gave up <laughs> um i wasn't much of a fighter then i wasn't gonna go fight for this man i barely knew him i just thought he was cute so so then i ran into the issue of okay t's been stolen this other girl went to homecoming with him he's a stolen man we're not really talking anymore at this point and i don't know anybody and i wasn't gonna be one of those people that was gonna take somebody that they went to middle school with so one of the girls that went to my high school she had posted her homecoming pictures from the brother school homecoming and the guy that she went with was really cute and I was like oh I wonder if she likes him or if they just went as friends but like I, I want to figure out what's going on here because I like this guy I'm not a homewrecker I've never been I wasn't gonna go sabotage anything but I just wanted to know what her vibes were like if you don't want him I'll take him so call this guy Zach we'll call this guy Zach I was trying to be like sly but I was like talking to people I was like so do you think that um Katie He's gonna take Zach to homecoming because Zach took her. People are like, I don't think she likes him like that. And I was like, oh, okay. I go to another football game. I see Zach there. Katie's not talking to him, not interacting with him. I'm just kind of standing there. And I think somehow I like, like weaseled my way into like a big group conversation that he was in. Zach starts talking to me and he was like very forward about it too. Like there was not really like, does he like me? Does he not? He like immediately gravitated towards me and then kind of like separated from the group conversation to like just talk to me we were like hitting it off he was super nice um this is a picture from this exact night so this is what i looked like i don't know why anybody was into this gremlin looking ass kind of vibe i had going on but so after the football game like we continued talking again really sweet was like i thought you looked really beautiful tonight like the corny <laughs> shit. And, but i was eating it up i was eating all that up so i get back to school on monday i wanted to ask him to homecoming i was like okay i really like this guy i want to ask him homecoming but i did not want bad blood with anybody i did not want to come into high school and like cause any problems this is so ironic now that i'm editing this but after i graduated high school like a couple weeks after katie literally tried to beat me up literally tried to beat me up for no reason, like literally for no reason. I did, I like don't really know her that well. I didn't really know her that well. And I was at a like party thing and she tried to beat me up. I straight up asked Katie. I was like, hey, I've been talking to Zach. I feel like you're not talking to him anymore, but I just want to double check. Do you want to take him to our homecoming? Totally understand if you do, I will back off immediately. And she immediately was like, oh, hell no. I don't like him. You can have him, like have fun. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> I asked her to homecoming in the most corniest way. I asked her to homecoming in the most corny, 
horny way. The following weekend at the next football game, we literally would only interact when we went to the football games because it was just like every Friday, the football game in the fall. It went, you mingled. I was like, okay, this Friday, I'm gonna ask Zach to homecoming. So I took a little piece of like printer paper and I got like a little bottle of Fanta, like the orange soda. And I wrote like, it would be fantastic. But like I cut out the word like Fanta in it to go to homecoming with you. And I just like got there. I was so awkward about it. I was so awkward. I just got there and I was like, hey, <laughs> Meet me by the bleachers on um, like the left side or whatever. I told him where to meet me. I pulled out the piece of printer paper, like all folded up and gave him like the little soda. And he said, yes, we took this picture of me. He was giving me a piggyback ride and my friend's like, oh my God, this is so cute. Hey, no, thank you. The picture was on my Instagram, but it is gone now. So if you could not figure out who this is, it's been gone for years. So no, no digging. This guy is not on my Instagram anywhere. Homecoming rolls around. I'm super excited. I get all dressed and everything. We have this like group homecoming dinner before. My parents meet his parents. He's super nice. He can like really like people please parents. Nothing was bad about this at all. So we get to the dance. It's at the aquarium <laughs> and we like walk around the aquarium together. It's like all romantic. Everybody's in like their dresses. Also, I'm just gonna put this in here. I just totally forgot. My mom, I think is a psychic. My mom has called so many things. She's like, you're gonna get your first kiss tonight. I'm like, no, I'm not mom. Like she called it. Um, She's called so many other things. Anyway, I get out of the car before go to the dance. My mom's like, you're gonna have your first kiss tonight. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna have my first kiss. By the end of the night, they put on like a slow song. This is so corny. <laughs> they put on a slow song. We're like slow dancing. And he like leans into kiss me and we had our first kiss and then right there he's like will you be my girlfriend what in the absolute Wattpad fanfic? I felt like I was not in real life. So after the dance, I get back in my mom's car. She picks me up and she's like, how was it? And I told her everything. I was like, oh my God, he kissed me. And he asked me to be his girlfriend. Like, I'm so excited. And we've been like texting already. Like he said he had such a great night with me, blah, blah, blah. We were texting constantly all throughout like the school day, after school. He'd always plan like, okay, Friday, we're gonna go to the football game. We'll hang out there and everything. Or sat sometimes it was Saturday, but we'd always plan to go to the football games like, like meet up that was like the only time we would like hang out it was so juvenile i saw him like once a week for like three weeks and then the relationship was over but this is what i'm trying to get out here this guy had no red flags but also i had negative two experience with any of this so they may have just gone over my head i really don't know two weeks later like one friday for whatever reason i decided i did not want to go to one of the football games i don't know why i didn't want to go because i knew he was going to be there i don't think anything happened i don't think i wanted to go i think i was tired and then this is when I first started experiencing FOMO, which still wrecks me to this day. I will plan on not going to something, and the second I see people having fun, I'm like, Mom, you gotta drive me there right now. So my friends are all there. They're all sending me Snapchats. And then I find out that Zach is there. And I was like, I messed up. I messed up. So I speed get ready and I'm like, mom, I actually decided like, I wanna go to the football game, can you take me? Also, this is crazy, I was deleting my voicemails. I, for some reason, still have a voicemail from this night. This is what I'm talking about, FOMO. I was laughing because there's like no context to this, but I, but it's like timestamp 2014 in September. I knew exactly what this voicemail was. It was somebody trying to get me to come to the football game. <laughs> My mom like sped over there. I get out and I'm like, with all my friends and everything, I can't find Zach. Everybody was like hanging out in the same area and I didn't see Zach and I knew he was there because I got pictures, I got that voicemail, like I knew he was there. So I was texting him, I was like, where are you? He's not replying to me. So I start asking a couple of my friends who said that they were with him or sent me Snapchats and I'm like, where is he? And they were like, I don't know, like he was just here. And then this kid comes over to me. I knew him growing up and then he went to my brother's school. So like I had known this person for a while. He comes up to me and he's like, hey, I need to tell you something. I was like, okay. He goes, so I know you're dating Zach, but I just want to let you know that he's been like getting really close to some other girl. Like, I don't think she goes to your high school or our high school. I don't know who she is, but like, aren't you dating him? And I was like, yeah, we're dating. He was like, he was getting really close to this girl. So I just want to warn you. I like whatever dude like I don't maybe it was just like his friend or whatever blah 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 I, I didn't want I didn't want the fantasy to end so I just kind of ignored it Zach is still not replying to my text
check. I know he's here. I can't find him. The high school the football game was at was massive, so he could have been like anywhere. I I don't know where he was. Eventually, Zach ends up coming back to like the big crowd where I was and everybody else was. And I was like, where were you? And he was like, oh, I was just wandering around. Like, I didn't even know you were here. And I was like, yeah, I've been texting you. Like, I didn't even ask him about the girl that my friend was referring to because I really didn't want to make things awkward. So I we just continued the rest of the evening like it was normal. I went home. Monday comes and I'm texting him. He's like not replying very well. I start hearing less and less from him. And eventually he just stops replying and another day goes by and like another day goes by still haven't gotten a single text from him I'm not blowing up his phone but I'm like hey just want to make sure you're good like my boyfriend just stops replying altogether I really didn't know who to talk to to be like why isn't Zach replying so I just kind of let it go and I never heard from him again Legitimately, I never got another text from this guy again. <laughs> um, so that's like how we like broke up. I didn't go to the football game, I think that weekend because I was upset. I, I think I was being petty. I was like, this dude won't even reply to me. I'm not even gonna like go to the football game on the chance that I see him. Like, I don't even wanna talk to him. So I didn't go. Still no text. I never hear from this guy again. So I come back to school on Monday after I skipped out on going to the last football game. I think it was like the last one, possibly. I don't quite remember. The football games were not that crucial. It was just like the meeting spot where I would see Zach. Every Everybody is talking about how Zach told everybody that he's been f***ing his stepsister. And I was like, ha, huh? excuse me? And more people and more people were like, yeah, yeah, like he was talking about it at the football game. He's been like telling guys that he goes to school with. And like a lot of the girls were dating other guys at the brother school where Zach went. It was basically like we were in the same high school. So they're like, yeah, Jack told me that Zach was telling everybody. And like, yeah, I also heard that. Like so many people knew this because I guess he was going around to everybody telling everybody and their mother that he was being his stepsister because they weren't blood. Oh, hell no. So this man decides to ghost me, never speak to me again, out of literally nowhere. And then I find out from literally half my high school that um, he is hooking up with his stepsister. When is it my turn to be happy? I text him one more time and I try to get a hold of him. I didn't even say that I knew anything about it. I just texted him one more time and I was like, hey. And the text didn't deliver. <laughs> Did he block me? Like, what is going on? I just gave up at that point. I was like, this dude is a weirdo. He doesn't want anything to do with me, clearly. I guess he's more occupied with his stepsister. Um, keep in mind, I just had my first kiss with this person. And then two weeks later, I guess he's um, canoodling with his family members. That makes me feel great. So I know there's probably people that are gonna be like, there's no way, there's no way. I have proof, the only form of proof I have, cause this happened so long ago, I've had multiple phones. I don't have text messages from 2014. The only proof is I posted on my Finsta one time that has all my personal friends on it. I posted just being like, LOL, remember when my first boyfriend like ended up like, his stepsister, does anybody remember that? Two people commented, I'll block out their name. Two people commented that went to high school with me. They go, oh my God, I remember when people told me about his stepsister and I was like, holy shit, Brooke dodged a bullet. Another kid who went to high school with him was like, did he go to the high school that they went to? Because I know exactly who you're talking about. I guess he thought it was like cool. Like he was like, hi, hi bro, like I my stepsister. What's up? And like people were like, that doesn't happen in real life. It's not a thing that people do. Like sweet home Alabama, baby. Like that's not real. Why are you doing that? Months later, Later, the brother school would have these like informal dances like you didn't have to be invited to go you just had to go to either my school or their school and that was the first time that I had seen Zach since we broke up I've never told him that I knew how do you even bring that up I just don't know how to bring that up in casual conversation at all and it was so awkward when we saw each other the next time because we were dating and then he just never replies to me again I did ask about that though I went up to him and I was like hey hey He told me that his phone broke. He told me that his phone broke. He said that he dropped his phone, it shattered, and it took him like multiple weeks to get a new one. And he like, I think he told me he still didn't have a new phone yet. It was the weirdest response. And then like, we just never talked again. <laughs>
<laughs> I ended up like never really having to interact with Zach again because he ended up getting kicked out from our brother's school is what I was told. I heard that he got kicked out for selling weed. And then my freshman year of college, I came home for the summer. We still had each other on social media. Once again, I told you, I never told him that I knew. I kind of just acted like I didn't know. He texts me and he goes, I've been seeing your Insta lately. Like you're not the little girl that I used to know. And I was like, Ew! Yeah. He was like, so like, when are we gonna hang out? Sir? 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 It has been four years and I know that you did very bad things with your stepsister. I have no desire of ever hanging out with you. Um, I just never replied. And then I think he unfollowed me on Instagram because I think he was salty. But yeah, that is the story of how my first boyfriend that I ever had cheated on me with his stepsister. If you guys like the story, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as always. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're new here and the notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>